this video is to go over placing party orders. Um, so there are a couple ways that you can place a party order. You can do it through what I'm going to show you today and recommend is through your front office. How you do that is take a iPad, a phone, or a computer and have that available at your party. And then you can just go and enter it as if it's an online purchase order. Why I like doing it this way and the bonuses for that are you can know inventory in real time so it's not going to let anybody add something to their cart that's not available and then you don't also have to take anybody's personal information like their credit cards or anything like that home with you to enter the party later or enter the orders later so I even if it's really busy I actually kind of have an extra iPad or computer or phone open where they can go and place their own order um, and I can kind of guide them on sizes but if I'm super busy I um, have them place their own order another thing that you can do is have then fill out order forms with their personal information, their order, and then their credit card information. We have those order forms. They came in your kit. You can have people fill those out, and then you can place them when you get home. However, I find that a lot of times, not a lot of times, but it can happen that you um, are not aware that something has been gone and then you have to let that customer know that something's been sold out in their size. So what I'm going to show you today is my personal favorite way of entering party orders. So once again, I just bring an iPad or a iPhone or some sort of phone or um, a computer to the um, com to the party and then I have it open to my rep website. So myzaya.com slash Sarah, click shop. And then click on the event that you want to purchase, um, the, your customers or your party host. Click on their event. And then you're just going to go through, pretend that this first customer wanted this hat. You're going to add it. It's just like shopping online. And then they're going to view cart and check out. And this is when they take over and they start filling out their own personal information. And... Um, and then enter their um, credit card at the end. Then you have nobody's personal information um, that you later have to destroy.